With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, the final marks in mathematics of 30 students are as follows. 53, 61, 48, 60, 78, 68, 55, 167, 90, 75, 88, 77, 37, 84, 58, 60, 48, 62, 56, 44, 58, 52, 64, 98, 59, 70, 39, 50, 60. Arrange these marks in the ascending order 30 to 39 one group, 40 to 49 second group, etc. Now, answer the following. What is the highest score? What is the lowest score? What is the range? If 40 is the pass marks, how many have failed? How many have scored 75 or more? Which observations between 50 and 60 have not actually appeared? How many have scored less than 50? So basically in this question, we have given the final marks of 30 students in maths and we have to arrange these marks in the ascending order according to the given group and we have to answer the following questions also so let's take first we will do we will make this this data into ascending order so first of all let's make this raw data into ascending order so the class intervals the class intervals are 30 to 39 then 40 to 49 then 50 to 59 dot 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 till how much till 100 to 109 so this will be this is how the class inter interval would be next we will will take the raw data and place it in the appropriate class interval so we will make a frequency distribution table for this so for that table we will make the column so first column would be of groups so first column is of groups and second column is of marks in ascending order so let's put the groups under this column so first first group is 30 to 39 now let's see the marks that are lies under this group so we can see that there are two marks that is 37 to 37 and 39 next group is 40 to 49 and the marks that lies under this group are we can see that 44 48 44 48 and there is another 48 next for 50 to 59 so let's find the marks that lies under this group so we can see that there are how much there are eight marks which one they are 50 52 then 53 then 55 then 56 then 58 then 58 again then the last 59 these are the marks that lies under this group next is 60 to 69 now let's see the marks that lies under this group so we can see that there are eight marks which are 60 60 again again 60 then 61 then 62 then 64 then 67 and at last 68 now next group is 70 to 79 now let's see the marks that lies under this group so we can see that there are four marks that lies under this group which are 70 75 77 and 78 next is 80 to 89 
so let's see the marks that lies under this group so we can see that there are only two marks that lies 84 and 88 84 and 88 next is 90 to 99 so let's see the marks that lies under this group are only two 90 and 98 90 and 98 and the last group is 100 to 109 and we know the remaining marks is the remaining marks is 100 100 now let's answer those following questions the first question was what is the highest score so we can see that the highest score is 100 so we'll write 100 is the highest score 100 is the highest score next we will see what is the lowest score so we can see that the lowest score is 37 so second part answer is 37 is the lowest score next we will see for third part third part is what is the range now we know range is the highest difference between highest and the lowest therefore range is highest marks is 100 minus lowest marks lowest score is 37 therefore 100 minus 37 is 63 therefore the range is 63 next we will see let's see the fourth part which is if 40 is the pass marks how many have failed so if the 40 is the passing marks then we can see that there are only two marks that is less than 40 so we can write it that if 40 is the passing mark then then number of students who failed is how much two that is let's write the those marks also 37 and 39 now let's see the next next part or the next question which is how many have scored 75 or more so we can see that there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that means there are 8 students that have scored 75 or above so we'll write it as that the the number of students scoring 75 or more are how much 8 now let's see the sixth part which is which observation been between 50 and 60 have not actually appeared so we can see that this part answer is 51 51 54 then there is 57 is missing so we'll write it as we'll write what sixth part answer is the sixth part answer is the marks the marks 51 54 and 57 do not actually appear between do not actually appear between between what 50 and 60 now let's see the seventh part which is seventh and the last part is how many have scored less than 50 so we can count it as 1 2 3 4 5 so there are only five number of students who have scored less than 50 so we'll write it as there are 
five students who have who have scored less than less than how much fifty answer thank you for class six to twelve itj and neat level trusted by more than five crore students download doubt and app today